I want to discuss three <coughs> rules uh, of angles in a circle. So this is a circle, and this is arc AB. Okay, so the first rule is, if this is arc AB, these two angles are equal. This is one rule that angles in the same arc are equal. So we can write the rule like this in short, angles in same arc in same arc equal. Okay, that's enough. Okay, so this rule says if you've got an arc, now these two angles are made by this arc, and that's why it's called angle made by this arc or angles in this arc, whichever way you understand. So this is the arc which makes this angle. Suppose let me name this, say, this is say, C and this is D. So what we are saying is angle ACD, ACB, angle ACB, ACB is equal to angle ADB, ADB. And because they're angles in the same arc, you can understand this arc uh, of angles made by this arc or angles in the same arc. Now this, this is a second rule. Now, this is an angle, this arc AB is making an angle at the center, and this same arc is making an angle on the, on the circle or on the circumference. Okay, so yeah, the rule is, this is the rule, angle AOB, angle AOB, which is angle at the center, is two times, is two times angle ACB angle a c b that means if this is x if this is x uh, so if this is x sorry if this is x this is 2x or if this is x this is half of x okay so the same means this implies angle a c b angle a c b is half of a o b both are equivalent AOB. I've made a video to prove this result. So this is how do you write the rule? The rule is right like this. Angle at the center. Angle at center. At center is twice. Is twice angle at circumference. I'll write in short, angle at center is twice angle at circumference. This is the second rule. And this is the third rule. The third rule says the angle angle in a semicircle is a right angle. That means this is an angle in a semicircle. So actually this has come from this rule. So let me first write the rule. This is this angle, which is angle in a semicircle. So you can say angle A. CB is equal to 90. This is the rule, okay? And this is an angle in a semicircle. So this is the center and this AB is the diameter. AB is a diameter, so this is a semicircle. This is a semicircle. Arc AB, whichever way you go, this is a semicircle. And this is also a semicircle. So this is a semicircle. An angle in a semicircle is always a right angle. Okay, so this, the rule you write like this, angle in semicircle, in semicircle, equal to 90. Actually, it is, this has come from this. Can you see this is angle at the center, which is 180 degree? This is a angle at the center is 180. So angle at the angle at the circumference is half of 180, which is 90 degrees. So this angle is 90 degrees. So let's use these three rules in some examples that I have made up. So this is the first example. This is the center, and AB is the diameter. So as we just saw, angle, you can say angle AC, ACB, angle ACB is equal to 90. The reason is, angle in semicircle. 
even if you write like this I'm, angle in semicircle is enough because you already shown that that's that's 90 so angle in a semicircle this is the reason okay so we have said that this is 90 degree and now you can say x is angle in a triangle so that would be 180 minus 90 minus 64 and the reason is angle in triangle equal 180 so let's get get the calculator out so when you run 180 take away 90 take away 64 which is 26 so x is 26 so there are two reasons you need to write both the reasons okay so this is a topic on geometrical reasoning so the next question, you have got, you have to find x and y. So you can say angle A, B, A, C. So let me write the reason. Angle B, A, C is equal to angle B, D, C. Angle B, D, C. The reason is angle in same arc. This is angle in the same arc. These two angles, that is y, you can say y is equal to 44, just like that. Because y and 44 are angles in the same arc I'm talking about. So let me show you the arc. So this is angles in this arc. This is, this is the arc that I'm talking about. So both these angles are angles in the same arc. Okay, now, uh, same way you can say x is equal to which angle? x is equal to 32. x is equal to 32, the same reason. Okay, the reason is this, angles in the same arc. They are formed in the same arc. Okay, and which arc is that? So let me uh, show you. Eh? So these two angles are formed in this arc okay whichever way you understand so angle a i'm not going to write it again b sorry a a b d a b d so in other words you start at a and end at d a b d and a c d okay so let me write that i think it's better to write angle a b d you're starting at a finishing at d is equal to again you start at a and finish at d is angle a c d okay so you can say x is equal to well, x is equal to 32 okay the last question you got you want to find this this is the center o is the center so let me go a b and c okay so if you know this angle you want to find x so what can we do so if this is the center can we say this and this are equal so the first thing that you need to realize is a b is equal to a o is equal to b o a o is equal to b o the reason is radii of same circle radii of same circle so, because they are radii, what is triangle AOB? Triangle AOB is an isosceles triangle. Is an isosceles triangle. Therefore, we can say this is 40. This is 40. So, you can say angle OAB, OAB, is 40 degree and the reason is base angle equal isosceles triangle this is how you should be writing base angles equal in isosceles triangle so now if this is 40 and this is 40 what is this angle angles in a triangle adds to 180 so this is 80 so this is 100 so now we can write the reason angle a o b Angle AOB is 100. 
because you can say angles in a triangle. Angles in a triangle equal 180 degree. Okay, and now if this is 100, x has to be how many degrees? x has to be 50 because this is twice of this. So now you can say angle ACB is equal to 50. The reason is angle on angle at center angle at center is twice is twice angle at circumference 